Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone First, let me introduce the group members That is Anissa Ramaida ya Alia Rahma Mucianti Muhammad Fikri Yazid And my name is Helda Mustika Chandrawati We will explain chapter 9 about teaching writing A. Literacy From ancient times to the present The word literacy has many meanings For example, in the Christian world of the Middle Ages Sacred texts were only written in Latin and were only available to people with prestige and therefore a prestigious kind of literacy. In foreign language, teaching we need to decide what kind of writing we expect from students and what kind of literacies we are asking from them. This is important when students are studying English for academic purposes. The actual discipline and the level they are studying for will determine how literate they should be. Aspects of literacy A. 1. Handwriting Handwriting is a personal issue. Students should not all be expected to use exactly the same style despite copying exercises. Nevertheless, badly formed letters may influence the reader against the writer, something which is under undesirable whether the work is product of some creative text or more seriously work that is going to be assessed in a test or exam. A. 2. Spelling All too often, but spelling is perceived as a lack of education or care. One of the reasons that spelling is difficult for students of English is that the correspondence between the sound of a word and the way it is spelled is not always obvious. And issues that make spelling difficult for, for some students is the fact that not all varieties of English spell the same words in the same way. One of the best ways to help students improve their spelling is through reading, especially extensively. We can also draw their attention to spelling problems and explain why they occur. Copying from written models is one way to do this. When students see and reflect on their copying mistakes, their spelling consciousness is raised. A3. Layout and punctuation. Such differences are easily seen in the different punctuation conventions for the quotation of direct speech which different languages use or why in which many writers use commas instead of or as much as full stops although comma overuse is frowned on by many english language writers and editors some punctuations conventions such as the capitalizations of names months and the pronoun i are specific to only one or a few languages. Thus, punctuation is a frequently a matter of personal style. Violation of well-established customs makes us a piece of writing look awkward to many reader. readers. Explain about the approaches to student writing. The first one is the process of the product. So, in the teaching of writing, we can focus on the writing product or the process itself. And when we focus on the product, we will only interest in the goal of the task and in the end of the product. Meanwhile, when we focus on the process, then we will pay attention to every detail and various stages of the writing pieces goes through, such as editing, redrafting, and final product. And uh, in the reality, we know that uh, writing process is more complex and the steps were more complicated than we know. You could see the process in the following pictures that have been provided. And the process of writing needs concentration and it takes time. This process takes time to brainstorm the ideas to a piece of writing and this can be done in a short time and may be difficult for students due to class time limitation. The next one is January, which when the teachers concentrate on the January, the students will study the text that, which they are going to be writing before they start their own work. For example, when the teacher asks the student to write about the business letter, then the student will search info about the business letter. They will learn about their structures, their specific language used in the letters.
and the students who are writing with a certain degree need to know about the different factors. They need to know about the topic, the convention, the styles, the content, and the reader as well. The next one is a creative writing. Use uh, imagination to produce it. And for example, when the teacher set up imaginative writing tasks and asked the student to write a simple poem, narrative, or recount text. The project pride and the student may feel this when they have written creatively. And as a teacher, we need to provide appropriate reader audience for their work. And writing imaginatively may be difficult for some students because they don't know what to write and what to do. And as a teacher, we need to build the writing habit and help them that writing can also be fun. The next one is writing as a cooperative activity with Cooperative writing works well in the focus of the writing process of a general study. For example, a review and evaluation are greatly enhanced by having a group working on a text. The generation of the ideas will more lively when the two or more people involved in the project and writing in a group is like a short game like communicative activity, which allows students to do research, discussion, Per evaluation in ATC. The next one is building the writing habit and we may found that some students may don't feel confident and don't feel un unenthusiastic about the writing and there may be some reason like they never written much in their first language or they think that they don't have anything to say and don't know what to say or they don't have any ideas. As a teacher, we need to build the writing habit. The writing habit can be done with a range of activities uh, such as the student can write about description about the person or pictures and the point is that we want the student to write for fun and practice of it rather than have them write as a skill. The next one is writing for learning and writing for writing. So writing for learning is to help students learn a language or to test them on the language. For example, like when the teacher asks them to write a sentence in the past tense, the aim is not to train the student to write but to help them remember to using past tense structures. The next one is writing for writing, which helps students to building the writing habit. For example, when the teacher asks them to design a good magazine advertisement, and this will help the student to improve their ability and may become good at writing advertisement with a lot of practice. Next is the roles of the teachers. There are several things that are important when students are asked to write. Firstly is motivator. Motivate the students, creating the right conditions for the generations of ideas, persuading them of the usefulness of the activity, and encourage them. Second one is resource. We supply information and language where necessary. Third one is feedback provider. Teachers should respond positively and encouragingly to the content of what the students have written. Writing lesson sequence. Based on the following example, there are nine writing activities that are specified together with, with its particular focus. First example, we can put the unpunctuated text on the board. Students from different pairs can punctuate it line by line and the rest of the class can say whether or not they agree. Punctuating poems in this way is also very effective. Next is second example. If we want students to be aware of coherence, we can make them construct a story. We print out a story but jumble it up so that the students can repair it by the pairs or groups. Third example, the students are asked to write reviews of plays. They, they then have to use the following reviews general analyzing kit as shown on the table. So next is for example, students are told to write a letter to someone they would never normally write to. Their colleagues have to be able to say who the letter is to and what point is trying to make. Fifth example, students are put into groups and the teacher will put the polling poems in front of the classroom. Then each group send a representative to the front to read only the first line of the poem and memorize it. The activity goes on this way until one group has the whole poem. Six examples, students are going to write poems from the point of ancient monuments and buildings. When they have finished their poems, they can show them without a title to different group to see if they can guess what the monument are or place it is. Seven example, each student write the sentence at the top of their piece of paper. When all the students have done this, the teacher tells them to pass their pieces of paper to the person on the left. Eighth example, the following example shows a student's block in actions. In the example, there are points where are 
writing teacher would want to intervene. In example, students have to look at the task and to decide how many parts there are to it, how informal or formal the style should be. Once the teacher had discussed these questions with the class, they can start planning for the report by making notes under three headings. They then match a typical four paragraph sequence with what might be written in each of four paragraphs as shown in pictures 9b. Everyone, my name is Muhammad Fikir Ajit. Uh, my student number is 2019-0810262. Okay, at this time, I would like to explain about portfolios, uh, journals, and letters. Many educational institutions and teachers get students to keep portfolios of examples of their work written. Over a period of time, this can be used for assessment. Not only for assessment, uh, it's also used for us a way of encouraging students to take pride in their work. Uh, the first is uh, I would like to explain is the common European framework. There are three the European language portfolio. The first is language biography or in term language folio. It's like a few paragraphs. Here the student reflect language skill. It is uh, in language biographies that abilities such as vocabulary, the way they learn, and the learning objectivity set are measured. Language biography asks them to say what language experience they have had and evaluate the, their learning goals and reflect on language learning. It's like reflection which we do in the last of semester, but in the case, the thing which has to be explained is about language biography which uh, they have. And the second is language passport. This is the public version of, la of the biography. The language passport looks like, like a skill list where we can see more see some skill some skills and language passports also provide information on what language is used such as uh, what mother tongue or second language is spoken and they have uh, their ratings such as C2 means professional professional user and B2 means independent user and something like that so this is has a grade uh, for the passport so if uh, someone want to know our skill uh, they can uh, read our passport so the third is dossier this is where students keep examples of their work projects reports diplomas um, PowerPoint presentation and etc. For easy explanation, dossier is a picture of the learner's progress and dossier is like question which has to be answered by student about learning progress. So uh, someone prepare the question for another person about a uh, question and it is uh, it, it will be answered by someone uh, to explain their uh, their skill about a language. That's all for me. Thank you very much.